Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm really excited to be here. If you're just now joining us, I'm here with Paul Olson, the man, the legend, and the myth, our relational technologist. He takes technology and relates it to real estate. This guy is a systems guy. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to do it. He is the one that literally blows me away with technology. Some of the things he comes up with, I'm like, how did you think of that? <laughs> you know? I'm serious. It, it, it really blows me away. And and all of our training, all of our education, our home study courses, our uh, inner circle participants, Paul is a very big part of that because I'm a firm believer in surrounding yourself with successful people and, and then that will help you become successful. And Paul is one of those people. So Paul, what are you going to share with us today? You know, one of the things I've noticed with a lot of people is that they have a hard time getting going with systems. They see so much stuff that's out there to do, and they're like getting confused and lost as to what to do because they don't have a system in place. They don't have a place to store stuff. They don't have any type of frame of reference as to where to go to start making this stuff happen. Yeah. So what I'm going to do today is show you guys a few little uh, pieces of software that can help you do some different things and help get you guys going with a system to be able to make stuff happen. Um, right here's the first one that I'm going to start working with, and it's called uh, Nitro Reader. I know a lot of you guys, one of the first things you got to do is you got to make offers. Yeah. That offers, 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 right? Is that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's three real most important right? things exactly. in real estate. Exactly. <laughs> three most important things. So what we do from there is we just go ahead and use Nitro Reader and hang on one sec. So what we use is Nitro Reader and for it we actually go ahead and um, use it for our PDF writer. And with it, it can do different things like help you read offers and uh, stuff like that. But even more than that, what it allows you to do is be able to, you know, sign do documents and things like that. So it's a great way for you to help automate and get going with uh, your offers. So what's that website name? GoNitro.com. GoNitro.com. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, Paul's going to share a lot of little tips and techniques and strategies with you about different kinds of systems, but I want you to remember, don't get overwhelmed. Exactly. Don't let it scare you. Uh, just start with one little thing, okay? And all these things won't be even anything that you may be able to use. What you need to do is be able to look at these things and say, will this fit for what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. You know, each person works very differently. And that's what I love about technology is it's very flexible. So it can actually work with different people and do different things. Nitro Reader is something that works great for us to be able to sign our contracts and make it all happen real quick, you know? Another thing that's really good for us, uh, especially for the person who's on the go, um, it's one of those you get all kinds of things. You look at Zillow and you're like, man, I want to remember this property. You go to this and that and you just want to be able to remember stuff yeah. and be able to keep it all organized. Sure. Uh, you want to be able to do it from your phone, your laptop or whatever. There's another program out there called Evernote. Oh, I love Evernote. Evernote's the best. I have my notes for this show on Evernote. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I think of it as like my personal file storage cabinet. I take it everywhere with me. And something most people don't even realize is you can create a note. You can attach even uh, documents to that note. Yeah. Like you can attach a PDF or anything like that. So it's a great way for you to be able to set up a different way to manage your properties. So you can even set up a note for your property that you're making an offer on. You attach the contract that you made the offer with. Uh, you can even be on Zillow and make a little clip. There's little clips in the web browser for Evernote that allow you to be able to clip that page and bring it right into Evernote. That's so awesome. It's really cool. I, I love it for everything. I make notes in it. In fact, uh, I'll be in meetings. I'll just be sitting there typing. It's all in my Evernote so that I can remember it later. I can set task reminders. It's really cool that way. And you can even add audio to a note. Exactly. Um, it's Evernote, E-V-E-R-N-O-T-E dot -E com, I believe, right? Correct. Yeah, and the, the cool thing about Evernote that I really like is it'll sync right with your smartphone. So whatever I type on my computer, literally within a couple minutes, I can pull it right up on my smartphone. And it's right there, live. And then if I want to make some notes or add some notes on my smartphone, then... Uh, it'll come right up on my computer or iPad or whatever your tablet device might happen to be. So I really love Evernote also. Yeah, I've been using it for years. <laughs> I think I was in it whenever, like within the first six months of them releasing it. Really? I've been using it ever since. Oh, it's awesome. It's amazing. It really is. Um, another thing is you'll start finding, especially if you like start working with virtual assistants, you know, they're not in the office next door. 
No, <laughs> they're not. They're in Bangla, Spain, Dang, Sangong, or something. Exactly. Like that. <laughs> so you got to be able to get stuff to them. You got to be able to talk back and forth. Evernote, once again, you can share notebooks with them. Yeah. The other thing you can do is you got to be able to share files. We here at the office use something called Google Drive. Um, Google Drive is very similar to Dropbox. Uh, it allows you to be able to put all your documents in it. The thing I like about Google Drive over Dropbox is I get 15 gigabytes of online storage for free. Wow. Dropbox, that's huge. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. Dropbox only gives me two. Oh, wow. So, you know, some different stuff like that. The other thing is I can do with Google Drive, I can actually write up documents within it. It's attached to my email account. So I can go up there and type up Word documents, spreadsheets, and all that kind of stuff, and I can share that with my virtual assistants. And my virtual assistants can also do work and share it right back to me. So Google Drive is a great way to be able to work remotely. Once again, it connects up to my smartphone. It connects up to my laptop. It connects up to my iPad. So I can go anywhere and pull any of that stuff up and be able to do my work wherever I'm going. That's awesome. That's really cool. And if, if you don't know how to get to Google Drive, Paul will mm -hmm. tell you. Exactly. Uh, what you do is you first you start up with a Gmail account, just normal Gmail email account. And then from there, within Gmail, there's an option to go ahead and uh, open up your Drive account. Uh, there's like a little box at the top right that's a little square. You just click on that. It'll say Drive. You just go right on into it. There you go. And the cool thing about it is whether you're using virtual assistants or you have realtors in other states like we do, mm -hmm. uh, Paul was telling me yesterday some of the things that he does. Like he puts our proof of funds letter in there. And uh, if, when we get a HUD house in another state, he'll drop a, uh, a FedEx label in there, and they just mm -hmm. pick it up and grab it, and, and, and then they're, we're, they're using our FedEx label to FedEx the docs over to the asset manager if it's an Alabama property or a Tennessee property or Georgia or Kentucky or wherever, right? And you know, it's stuff like that that sets us apart from everybody else. It's that level of professionalism because there's a lot of wannabe investors out there who they're just trying to – I mean, not a better. I don't know if there's an easier way to say it, but they're really just trying to weasel their way into a deal. Whereas we come in there, we bring professionalism, we bring business experience behind it. To when a realtor sees what we're bringing, they have no issues working with us because they see that we're professional. And stuff like that, where you're already set up, where you're already going, you're bringing that professionalism with it. It takes all the questions they may have out of the picture. And go, this is a guy I need to be working with. This is a mover and a shaker. Because they got their systems, they know what they're doing. They got the talk, they've got everything in place. They got all the forms. Bam! Right. It there. makes a huge difference. Huge difference. It? It's it's all about the perception becomes a reality, guys. If you're brand new, if you've never done a deal, it's okay. You've got to fake it till you make it. That's right. You've got to you got to talk the talk and walk the walk. You don't have to have done a hundred deals, okay? But if you sound like it over the phone, they're gonna treat you like that. In fact, when I'm talking to realtors, one of the things I want the realtors to think, I won't think and confuse me with an agent. Okay? I won't talk into in fact, a lot of times you'll know this. If you get question a question from the realtors you're talking to and they say, Are you an agent? you'll know you're doing the right thing. That's Wouldn't exactly you agree? Right. That's exactly right. If, if you get those questions, I mean, I use terms like listing, you know, uh, inventory, you know, stuff like that. I don't say, I was calling about the house on 125 Oak Street, you know, can you tell me a little bit about it? No, I'm going to say, you know, we need to get an offer to you on, on your listing at 125 Oak Street, you know? That, that's, I mean, that's the way I would leave a message with somebody. Exactly. If I'm calling a realtor, I'm not going to call and say, yeah, I want to get some information. Realtors don't make any money giving out any information, okay? But if you call and leave a message with them, which most of them you call, you're going to get their voicemail anyway because mm -hmm. they're out in the field, wherever that is. Exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. You call the office and like, he's out in the field. I'm like, where is that at? Was he a farmer? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, but I'm going to call and leave a message. I'm going to say, you know, hey, this is Larry. Larry Goins, how you been? I need to get an offer to you on your listing at 125 Oak Street. Hit me back as soon as you can. If you don't have my number handy, here it is. Okay? Number one, I say my name's Larry, like you should know it. But if you don't, Larry Goins, how have you been? Who do you say how you been to? Somebody you know. Somebody you know. You know, I need to get an offer to you on your listing, okay, at 125 Oak Street. Hit me back. Hey, 
in case you don't have my number handy, like you should have it, but in case you don't, here it is. All those little things are subliminal, mm -hmm. but they're things that people hear and their subliminal con subconscious uh, makes them think, I know this guy. Where do I know this name from? Where exactly. do I know this name? Right? That's exactly yeah. right. So you got to fake it till you make it. That, that's the most important thing right there. That's yeah. so true. Awesome. And, you know, all these tools, all they do is they just help you get it to the, where you're fake it to where you make it type of thing. Now, for those of you who may be a little bit further along, I also have a tool called Podio. Uh, Podio is a customizable database. This is one where you can go in and you can create your own templates for tracking your properties, for dealing with uh, your um, people that are your connections. So you can have an address book within there. Uh, you can add files to it. You can have uh, different types of, uh, like what we use it for, for our leads. You know, we'll have different voicemails out there for different things. And then when that voicemail comes in, it'll email it into our Podio account. So there's different things you can do with Podio, but it's one of those. It's very customizable. It can do a lot of things. It, you need to be a little bit more tech savvy or be able to have a VA that's familiar with it. Uh, I've been working on it for quite a while, and we're getting a pretty good system in place for ourselves um, that may become available. We'll see to other people. But, um, you know, it's a good system to look at if you've got a little bit more tech savvy to you. And how would they find Podio? Podio.com. Just go there, and what's even more beautiful about it is for startup and for the average person who doesn't do much in it, it's free. Free? That's right. Free is for me. And here's the beautiful thing. Almost everything I'm listing today is free or has, whenever you hit up to a more professional level, you can get bumped up. Wow, that's awesome. One of the things you mentioned, I don't know if you guys really caught this or not. Maybe you did. But Paul said when leads come in, people call an automated voice message. When the leads come in, they're all automatically emailed and sent into Podio and a record is created. That is correct. T tell them how that works and then not only is a record created, but what happens from there? What happens from there is, well, let's start off. What we do is we use a company called Freedom Voice, um, freedomvoice.com, and they are one that we can buy 800 numbers from, local number, anything like that, um, and we pay a monthly fee for that. If you don't want to pay for that type of uh, level of service, get yourself a Google Voice number. Google Voice, it's free. It's free. And with that, you can just forward that voicemail to Podio. Podio has an option within it. It has an email option and just says, hey, here's the email address for this uh, account. When you email this, it'll create a record here. So it creates a record, which then creates an opportunity for our uh, guys who buy the houses or the ones who sell the houses. What's an opportunity? Explain an opportunity that. is a an opportunity is a um, like a task, like a or, task something. or something that's just come up with that allows the person to either have the opportunity to buy a property or sell a property. If somebody who's raised their hand and says, hey, I'm interested in selling my property or in buying my property. So that's all an opportunity is. It's just a task awesome. raise. So when, the, when somebody calls and leaves a voicemail, that voicemail, it, an email is sent to a specific email, email address, address to your account Podio. at Podio, mm -hmm. which creates a contact record. Exactly. Based on the number that it came from. That's right. It, 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 it's either a buyer or a seller. That's correct? correct. So then, if it's a seller lead that came off of one of our We Buy Houses signs, then it creates an opportunity or a task for Tom in our office to pick up the phone and call, listen to that message and then call that person back, correct? That's a correct one. That is exactly correct. And then it's one of those that we can go in there, we can tag them with different things, tagging basically put them in different categories. Are they an investor buyer or a retail buyer? Things like that. Are they uh, somebody who's desperate to sell a property? Are they not? So, you know, it's all customizable. You can do a lot with it that way. Um, but it's one of those that we literally don't answer our phone. We only just call back to the people once we've gotten the voicemail. I love it. <laughs> so, That's awesome. And it's all this guy right here. <laughs> he, he, he worked, and it blows me away, the stuff that he's done with Podio. It really does. Two more things. So now you've gotten to where you're talking to your realtors, you're able to keep all your documents, mm -hmm. you're getting some offers out there, you've been able to keep up with all that, you've got records being tracked, now we need to actually market the property, right? Oh, yeah. Got to get it sold. Got to get it sold, because that's where we get the paycheck. So I've got two places for you to go. When we get our property, first two things we do. Number one, we put it on the Ultimate Internet Marketing Machine. There you go. We use our own website. It does great for us. It allows us to point all of our people right there. 
be able to actually put all of our documents and everything like that to actually uh, point them just right straight there. InvestorsRehab.com. You can see our properties there. You can see what we're doing with it. The other thing that we do is we know that not everybody will be at a website. So we also go to Postlets.com because a lot of people see and go to Zillow, right? Sure. Zillow, Trulia, that kind of thing. Um, so we go to Postlets.com, which is owned by Zillow. Most people don't realize that, but Postlets is actually owned by Zillow. No, I didn't know that. It's real funny. And then they actually syndicate out to Trulia, which I think Zillow is almost about to close on Trulia. I think they are, yeah. They're so buying them out. They're buying them out. <laughs> so it's one of those that Zillow is becoming a pretty good monopoly for marketing your stuff. So you do want to get your stuff out there. So we put it on Postlets. The other thing with Postlets is it does a great job of creating a property flyer. You need to be able to go to the RIA group with your property flyer so you have it right there. The other thing that's so beautiful about it is it just gets it everywhere. Now, the one caveat. Okay. There is a caveat to this one. So a realtor still has it listed on the MLS. There can only be one listing for that property on Zillow at a time. Okay. So unless the uh, realtor has actually removed it or put it under contract or something like that, it will not get out uh, to all those places. But it still will give you a template to be able to put it on Craigslist and stuff like that. Good. But um, that is one thing to watch out for, and this is one of the things that I do is I watch to see when that realtor takes it down, and as soon as they do, I'm making sure I'm property up there to where I can get my marketing all over. That's awesome. That's awesome. So that's, there we go. That's great. That's some really good stuff, Paul. Awesome. awesome. Can, can you see why he's the relational technologist <laughs> now? This guy is the man. He He's always coming up with new ideas. And, and, and in future episodes of Invest in Yourself, I'm going to have Paul in here. He's going to be sharing some of the things with you about not only how we market our properties, but how we get buyer leads, all of our different sources for properties, mm -hmm. how he sets up multiple states. I mean, and, and you're not a programmer or a coder or no, anything. No, I'm not you? even a coder. Yeah. He, he calls himself an artist, okay? Yep. And and that's and that really is true. I mean, he's not a coder. He's not a program. He doesn't write the code for this stuff. But he can think in his mind, what do I want this to do? And then he makes it happen yep. through either other systems and processes and procedures or bringing in other people. And you can find people to do this on Odesk or Elance or freelancer or, or whatnot, something like that, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's awesome. Use other people's resources. You just paint the picture. There you go. That's good. So, Paul, man, this was awesome. Thank you so much Thank for sharing you. all that. That's great. That's really cool stuff. So, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back to talk about how are you going to do real estate if you have no time? We'll be right back.